turn next because we've got John Whittingdale uh, waiting for us there in that uh, central lobby. Of uh, course, um, been taking a lot of persuading uh, about this withdrawal agreement, and we're now hearing, Mr. Whittingdale, let's hear it from from you yourself that uh, you are going to support the deal if and when it comes back to the House. Well, I think two critical things have happened today. Uh, obviously, we are waiting to hear the result of these indicative votes, but it is beginning to look likely that the House of Commons would try and push through something which, in my view, would be even worse than the Prime Minister's deal, possibly permanent membership of the Customs Union. So we might be faced with a choice between that and the deal. I'm still not a great fan of the deal. But the other thing which has happened is the Prime Minister has said that she agrees that when we move to the second phase, that there should be new leadership. Uh, and we can make a fresh start, and I think that is also a, a sensible outcome. And so, you know, whilst I'm not going to be cheering about this deal, I do now accept that it is probably the best way forward, and I will support it. Was that the clincher, though, the uh, statement from the Prime Minister, that announcement? If she hadn't said that, would you still be in two minds? Well, I, I've said before that it would be a very important factor. I think those of us who believe in Brexit are looking to the next stage, to the future relationship with the European Union, and I think we will have more confidence if that's led by somebody who is a strong supporter of Brexit. Um, but also there is the uh, alternative, which is becoming clear, and we'll see uh, this evening how the House of Commons votes, but it is looking more and more likely that if the Prime Minister's deal were not to go through, that then there would be an attempt to push forward through something which, in my view, would frustrate Brexit entirely. And who would you like to see take over to take uh, on those second stages of negotiations? Well, as I've just said, I think the next leader, I hope, will be somebody who is an enthusiastic supporter of Brexit and will want to achieve the benefits which I believe are there for the taking if we can get the right relationship. Now, there are, I suspect, quite a number of candidates and we will have that debate once we get into a leadership election. But the important thing, first of all, is to achieve Brexit. Well, it's interesting. Would they have to have voted leave, though, for you to accept them as a, as a true leaver because of the current Prime Minister, Theresa May, uh, was a convert? Yes, and I don't, I, no, I'm not going to narrow the field by saying they absolutely had to have campaigned for it. I think they, I and others like me will need assurance that whoever does take on the leadership will want to achieve a full... Brexit, which allows us to have free trade agreements with countries around the world and to be freed from European regulations. But this is all part of a debate which undoubtedly will occupy quite a number of weeks if we reach that stage. I've got to ask you, though, do you think the deal will get through? Uh, we don't know the DUP's mind, and uh, I don't know if you're aware, but Jacob Rees-Mogg has just said that uh, he will support the deal. If the DUP abstains, and is that your thinking? Is that what they're going to do? I, I don't know. I mean, I have friends in the DUP and I've talked to them, but you'd have to ask them about their intentions. Um, obviously, if the DUP don't support it, it makes it less likely that it will pass. And I'd very much want to see the DUP give it support, but we'll have to wait and see. So if the deal doesn't get through, does Theresa May stay? Well, I don't know. If the deal doesn't get through, then we'd have to see what will happen. I think if the House of Commons tries to force through an alternative which goes against um, everything that the government has said that was in our manifesto and which we would feel doesn't represent Brexit, then I think it raises questions not just about whether Theresa May stays, or, but whether or not the government can stay. Indeed. OK, Mr Whittingdale, thank you very much indeed. Uh, very much appreciate you joining us. Uh, let's get a uh, reaction from uh, Cabinet level now. Uh,